What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today, I'm going to hit you up with some thoughts and opinions on this album from Canon King called Read Between the Lines. Now, if you want to check out this project as well as his other music, and also if you want to learn more about him, you already know what to do, man. Just take a look at the information box underneath this video where I got all kinds of sites and links. But when it comes to this project right here, I think the best thing about it is the positive, uplifting messages that you're getting throughout. It's very clear that he's a positive artist and he has a lot of things that he wants to speak on, and that's something that I do appreciate. You know me, I appreciate the content and when people are keeping it real. So on the song Chapter 2 Doubt, I like the pretty vocal sample here, it's a very smooth track, and he's just speaking on how he wants to help out the community and help promote unity while he's working on his art. Very humble, keeping it real, so this is an exact example of what I'm talking about in regards to the type of artist that he is, so that's something that I do like. Then with the song Chapter 6 Infinite, he's getting very open and honest about his religious beliefs, just basically talking to God, writing him a letter, and just thanking him for everything. So this was a cool track as well. I'm not really a religious person myself, but I don't think you have to be a religious person to appreciate this track. Once again, he's getting very introspective and just pouring everything out. He's very open and honest on this track, and you do get a nice string and piano sample here as well. I actually noticed this sample from the movie called Pathology. I don't know if you've seen that. If you haven't, it's definitely worth your time. It's kind of like a crime slash horror slash thriller flick. Really dope, so I thought that was a cool sample to make use of here. And the positive content does continue on some of these other songs. On Chapter 7, Dreams, he's just encouraging people to keep pushing and keep working hard in spite of the naysayers, but some of the bars and ideas here do get kind of cliche. Not just on this track, but on some of the others as well. You certainly appreciate his positive messages and how he wants to lift people up, like that's something you can't hate on, but he's not really coming with any crazy concepts or unique approaches. Even his rapping is pretty standard, I do think he has some nice lyricism and he has some nice flows as well, but there's nothing overly unique or exceptional here that's going to blow you away. So that song Chapter 7 Dreams also had some kind of bland piano production on it, so that track overall just sounded a little bit Macklemorean, if you will. Really reminded me of Macklemore, which you know, for me personally, isn't that great of a thing, but he's a great artist that a lot of people like, like he's great to other people, so maybe that's a good thing to you, but that's just kind of the feeling I got going from that track. But one of the main issues here has got to be the mixing and mastering, man. There are issues with the audio quality all over this. On the song called Chapter 3 Stars, you're getting some horribly mixed vocals. In particular, that opening little bit is just really sloppy. It's so bad that it kind of makes it unlistenable. He's got these really awkward echoey vocal effects. And that's too bad because I actually like the beat on this. This was one of my favorite beats. It's very hazy and atmospheric. So there are some strong moments in spite of that bad audio quality. So, you know, I got to keep it real there. Then with the song Epilogue, you'll notice that it's mixed much lower than the rest of the project, so these issues are going to stick out to you, man. It's really too bad. Like, this is a type of project that if it had been mixed properly and tightened up, I think it really could have been dope because he's a competent rapper, you got some nice content and bars and decent beats, but that quality is one of the main issues for sure. For just another example, on Chapter 5, Untitled, you're getting a decent eerie banger and some brash and braggy flows. I actually like the way he was rapping here because he sounded kind of cocky and confident. But again, you're going to get some really bad mixing issues on this one. That holds it back from its true potential. But my least favorite track has got to be Chapter 4, Kids. You're getting this vocal loop here that's just very repetitive. There's not much to this beat at all. And then you're getting a lot of silly vocals and flows as well. This track just really didn't do anything for me. It kind of came across as cheesy, especially with those bars about dropping farts that are like drive-bys, eating a horse in one sitting. It just really didn't sit well with me. But I do understand this is supposed to be a funny and silly track that's touching on what it's like to be kind of childish and immature. So I get what he was going for here, but I didn't think the execution was that great. And sonically, I didn't like it as a song. So... Overall, this is just a very unpolished album. I do hear potential. You get some nice beats, lyrics, and content, as I did talk about, but it does get kind of sloppy at times. Even on that intro track, some of those fast flows he's working are kind of offbeat and forced and sloppy. Then you got those mixing issues as well, so I'm going to go with a 2 out of 5 here. I think that's fair. I'm not going to go higher because all the shit needs to be polished and tightened up, but I do hear the potential. So if Canon King can tighten these issues up, get his shit on track, I could see him making a very good project. He certainly has the mind for it. He has the positive vibes coming through that people like. So if he works with that, he can certainly do better than this. But that's just what I got to say about it. You guys can check it out for yourself and then hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts. And of course, man, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff. You know where I'm at, so show me love and show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.